We can't really profile what a disengaged young person looks like. It can vary from homeless youth who have very complex family backgrounds through to undiagnosed speech and language disorders, which impacts their ability to access the curriculum. When you list their immediate priorities, it comes down to survival needs. When a young person is set for release from a detention centre, their bail or youth justice order conditions usually require them to report to a youth justice service centre on a weekly basis. However, the act of re-engaging in education was done off-site. I work alongside my clients to achieve their goals, so that could be anything from finding a suitable place for them to live, stable accommodation, getting back into education, our specialty isn't education as caseworkers. Our specialty is building rapport with our young people and we saw a need to have, I guess, someone who could advocate better than what we can for our young people to gain entry into education. Youth Justice identified to our department that there was a large number of their clientele who were either not engaged in education or just not attending. I was then inspired to start looking into this with my supervisor, Laura and she knew that the caseworkers themselves would be trying their hardest to place these young people in the education system themselves, not really knowing the policies of education as well as we do. Both departments highlighted a need for more specialised education support in an environment that was safe and supportive for the young person. Through a collaborative working relationship, a single point of contact was established and the pop-up classroom was created. We brought the classroom to the Department of Justice's Youth Justice Centres because the young people were coming there. They were calm, they were receptive, so it was a good place for them to attempt to do some learning. Youth Justice was able to provide the space and also we could tap into their existing systems. So caseworkers have great relationships with these young people, so we can tap into that, so we automatically have a rapport. When the young person reports to their caseworker, they also make contact with the teacher undertake lessons, helping to transition them back into school or onto training or employment. So the pop-up classes are delivered to a cohort of three or four young people in a certain age cohort. Simultaneous to that, the transition officer and the re-engagement officer are linked in with T2S, our Transition to Success program, and that's about ensuring our kids who are doing that certificate also have some numeracy and literacy skills that's being tapped on. Basically taking the burden of having to case manage a young person and also take over all of the support needs, we have someone, a re-engagement officer, who can book those appointments, who can attend those appointments and support our young people. When a young person presents to me, they've worked with Adela in public classrooms. They've already got a great relationship with their caseworker, who's given them some opportunity, some fresh direction. And then they have me come along. And then I speak to the young person. I, get, I draw information from a caseworker. I draw information from Adela, and that gives me a wonderful picture of how best to support this young person. Some of the young people that we do work with are exceptionally intelligent, but they've just chosen different paths that have led into negative behaviours or offending. And there does come a time where some of these young people do want to change, and they want to get an education, and they want to go to university. And with having the pop-up classrooms within our service centres, it makes these, this possible for these young people. The result of our collaboration is that we have young people who engage in pop-up classrooms on a daily basis. The collaboration has only come about with the willingness and the amazing effort by all the caseworkers to actually come on board with us. I might not know what needs they have prior to them seeing my classes if it wasn't for the caseworkers. They might not know what education level they can attend if I did not assess them. So I think that we, we complement each other and we we highly respect each other's position. And I think this, this initiative is an example of where departments acknowledging the work together gets a better outcome for our kids and that's ultimately what we're all working toward. <laughs>